First, I played golf. I played golf for about three years when I was young. I was around 10 to 13, and uh, basketball was just popular in my neighborhood. And uh, you know, I picked up a ball, you know, shot on my wooden backboard goal, and then all the kids would come over, and we would just start playing. And ever since then, I've loved it. I took it to every level, any level possible. But you know, now I'm here in the WNBA. Tiger Woods was kind of my, uh, you know somebody I kind of looked up to, sort of kind of like a role model. But you know, I had my niece and she graduated high school, so I wanted to do that. And then to be the first in my family to go to college, you know, that's something that wasn't available to some of my family members. And I just took uh, that opportunity, you know, and kept going with it. The recipe for Rogers' nickname was nearly as seamless as the cooking ingredient itself. My uncle just started calling me that, and everybody started calling me that. Then it's my mom started calling me that, and everybody started calling me that. Then the one is, you know, I like, well, I like candy and I like snacks, and uh, everybody just started calling me sugar in my neighborhood. I was a star coming out of high school. I went to an elite AAU team, which is Boo Williams, 18. And, you know, I didn't get the playing time that I thought I should get, and I had to work harder to even get on the floor. And, uh, you know, that was when I questioned basketball. Do I go back to golf? You know, do I just give up right here or do I just keep pushing forward? And I kept pushing forward and now I'm here in the WNBA enjoying my time. And when I came out of college, you know, I was a star player. You know, you know, I kind of shot every shot, but uh, now you just got to, you know, shoot your open shot. Everybody's competitive. Each level you go to, each team you get on, you know, everybody's competitive, especially at the WNBA level. I say I learned a lot, you know, the speed of the game. You know, you just got to go out there and work hard. And you can't make as many mistakes as a starter being coming off the bench. Like, you got to be ready at all times. The veterans are nice. Uh, it's not bad as some teams. You know, you got three Olympians on this team. You learn a lot if you just listen and, you know, let them teach. I mean, that's about it. You just learn a lot from the old school players. I come from a rough background and you had to leave that like at home. Like you can't worry about the things that goes on at home because you can't control them because you're not there. So, you know, just, you know, limited conversations with family just because it was so rough back home. Uh, just getting in the gym two and three times a day and academics. I wasn't big on academics in high school and I really had to focus on academics at Georgetown. But the biggest thing was getting in the gym when nobody's around or when nobody sees those countless hours in the gym. You just take that negativity and you turn it into something positive. You know, I didn't want to do the things that he was doing back home for us, you know, selling drugs, not going to school, you know, just the different activities. I turned that negative thing into something positive by going to school and getting that degree and, just, you know, being in the WNBA. And now my nieces and nephews have somebody they can look up to right in the family. And they're excited that I'm in the WNBA because we don't get that many pros from our area. The hustle of Rodgers has won many fans in the rookie season, and the young guard already has ideas to urge on her youthful following. I think I like to teach, but I also thought I could be a motivational speaker, but uh, I don't speak that well. But uh, like I said, I want to give back, you know, get into different communities, not just my own community, because there's other communities that you can reach out to and touch. Take me for example, rough neighborhood, you know, drug, crackheads, you have all that, you know. There is a way out. You just got to find something that you're passionate about and, you know, follow your dreams. I, I just don't like quitting, it's like, and I don't like to quit. So just not quitting, just being able to uh, push and get on the floor and get some playing time.